Hi, I'm Lindsay Baumgren, and this is your 35-minute legs and chest workout. This is part of our split training program where we're pairing muscle groups together, and today we are focusing on two large muscle groups being your legs and your chest. Your chest is the second largest muscle group in your upper body. Your legs, obviously the largest in the lower body, so it is going to be a nice full body workout that's gonna get your heart rate high and build some strength. Here's what you need, dumbbells. I have some 20 pounds and 15 pounds. These are going to push me today. Grab whatever you have available to you. You can go heavy or lighter depending on your fitness level and your capacity, okay? The workout looks like this. You have four circuits. Each circuit has two to three exercises. You're gonna do them for 40 seconds of work followed by 20 seconds of rest. You're gonna repeat each circuit times two sets, close it out, move on, and knock it out. We're gonna get a nice warm up in and a nice cool down at the end, round it out for 35 minutes of sweating together. Let's get started with our warm up, okay? So using just your body weight, feet are underneath the hips. You're gonna go right here. Just flap those wings for me, opening up the chest, the shoulders. We're focusing on the chest today, but your shoulders are gonna be involved in some of the work, right? Triceps might get a little bit too, those push muscles in the upper body. Legs and chest, here we go, flap it out for four, three, two, and one. Let's twist that core, a little rotation and rotation. Pivot tap, pivot tap, nice. Twisting through that core. Gotta have a nice strong, tight core throughout this entire workout. There we go, twist and tap, nice. You got four, three, two, and one. Nice, take those feet just outside the hips. Take the hands behind your back. You can interlace your fingers if you can. Pull them away from your tailbone, opening up through the chest and shoulders. And from here, we're gonna go right into a forward fold. So hinging at the hips, let your knuckles fall towards me. Nice, just letting it all hang heavy, opening up the chest and the posterior chain, back of the body, hammies. Let the hands fall down to the ground, whenever it feels good for you. You're gonna plant your hands on the ground, walk your feet in, so feet are touching if you're capable of that, and you're going to bend, heels pop off the ground, extend, hips go high. Drop the hips, pop the heels, send the heels down, send the hips high, right? Starting to warm up that lower body, create some mobility in our calves and ankles, as well as in our hamstrings and glutes. Nice, drop and lift the heels. Press and hip the hips high. Two more right here. Down and up. Last one, last one. Drop the hips. Send it high. Nice. Walk those feet back out to hip distance or a little bit wider. Drop to the bottom of your squat. And we're just going to pry side to side here. So trying to tap one knee down, back to center. Tap the other knee down. Opening up our hips and creating some good mobility in our hips. This is going to make our squats better today, right? Always looking for increasing our range of motion creating mobility in our hips and in our body. So I made these 35 minute workouts. I wanted to give you a good warm up and a good cool down, focusing on mobility. We've gotta stay mobile and injury free in order to do the workouts, right? Two more, one more each way. Nice, tap down, other side. Nice, bring it back to center, send those hips high, shake it out right here. Soft bend in the knees, roll all the way up the top, two big shoulder rolls when you get to the top, up, back and down. Up, back and down. You're going to the back of your mat. You hinge it forward and you walk out to a high plank. Nice, walk it back in, tap the toes, stand up tall. Two more just like that. Walk it out. Nice, walk it back in, tap the toes. Last one, you're gonna hold your high plank right here. Walk it out, hold that high plank. Hold here, shoulders stacked over wrist, core is nice and tight. Right foot steps outside, right hand. Easy twist, roll out the wrist right here. Go ahead, take a couple shoulder sweeps to the back. Warm up those shoulders, they're an important part of our push muscles. Nice, three, two, one. Step back, find a nice high plank, other side. Left foot outside, left hand, easy twist, roll out the wrist. Give me three shoulder sweeps right here, one, two. Actually, we did more on the other side, so we're gonna go for a couple more right here. You got three, two, and one. Nice, find that high plank, step back. You're gonna give me a push up. Option, knees or toes. So all the way down, all the way up. Do it again, down. And up, give me one more right here. Lead with the chest, push away from the ground. Push up and back down dog. Chest goes towards the thighs, pedal out the heels. This should feel real good. Awesome job. From here, drop to the knees, over onto the backside, rolling onto your back. We're gonna go for some glute bridges. Hit those glutes, warm them up. Both feet are on the ground, arms at the side. Bridge right here, lift and hover. Squeeze those glutes as you drive the hips and glutes up right here. You have eight, nice. Seven, there it is. Six, lift those hips high. Five, drive through the heels. Four, awesome. 
Three, last two, come on, two, and hold it high, hold it high and squeeze for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, roll yourself up to a standing position. We're gonna go ahead and tap it out, option tap, tap, option jacket, jacket. Nice, finishing that warm up right here, you got it. For eight, seven, six, you got it, five, four, three, two, and one. You ready to work the legs and the chest? We're gonna start with circuit number one, two chest exercises and one leg exercise. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Good, solid first move. It's a great way to warm up. Flow right from that warm up into the workout. It is a hand release push up. So I'm gonna lower all the way to the ground. Take my hands, release them, squeeze my upper body off the mat. Replant the hands, tuck the toes, push up as one straight line. Hand release push up, okay? Option, you can do this from the knees. Lower down, release, and push up from the knees, okay? Knees or toes, what's really important is there is a two by four from my head to my tailbone, actually all the way to my feet if I'm on my toes, to my tailbone if I'm on my knees, okay? There's a, a two by four attached right there. You gotta keep that nice straight line, right? Let's get it started. 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Hand release push up. Set it up. Shoulders stacked over wrists. Core is nice and tight. Lower that belly down to the ground in three, two. Let's go right here. Lower down, release, and push up. Nice. All the way down, release, and push up. So I'm keeping a nice straight line from head to toe, okay? Focusing on warming up the chest. Also, getting that back side of the body nice and warm. Nice, big inhale down, release, and then give me a big exhale to help push your body up and away from the ground. You got it. Slow and controlled, right here. Nice, your option is always to take this from the knees, release, push back up from the knees, lower from the knees, release, and push back up. If you're doing this on the knees, toes stay connected to the mat. Come on, you're in the final three, two, and one more push up. Awesome job, you guys. Gonna go to the legs next. I'm gonna go heavy, 20 pounds. You're giving me two squats, two deadlifts. So we'll start with the deadlifts. Feet are right underneath the hips. Down, up, so I do two of those, and then I go right into two squats. I'm gonna show you from the side. You're on in three, two, let's go. Deadlift, hips go back, stand tall, squeeze. Hips go back, stand tall, squeeze. Squat, hips go down, stand up, down, Stand up. So you're getting to feel the difference here in a deadlift, which is hips back versus a squat, hips down, right? Let's talk about the muscles we're working. Deadlift is hitting that posterior chain, hamstring and glutes. Weights stay nice and tight to the body. Squat's gonna hit glutes and quads, top of the thighs, right? The difference in that hip, hips straight back, hinge at the hips, keep the dumbbells nice and tight. Finish it off, two squats right here. Hips go down, down, up, down, you're out, nice work. Awesome job, I'm gonna transition to some lighter dumbbells. Move number three, final move of the set. Palms are out facing me. You're flying, pinky to shoulder, pinky to shoulder, and then double whoo, to the front. Palms stay up the entire time. You're on in three, two, let's go. Right arm, left shoulder, left arm, right shoulder, okay? And then both up to the front. Woo, hello core is turned on. We are hitting chest and shoulders right here. A different way to target the chest. Palms are up, which is what really turns on my pecs, my chest muscles. Right here, my core, it's gotta be nice and tight. <sighs> Exhale, lift it up, nice work. Opposite hand, opposite shoulder. Nice, keep that core nice and tight. Think about spreading the floor apart underneath you. Soft bend in the knees. It's gonna activate the legs and the core. <sighs> nice work, stay with me. Come on, you're in the final three. Two and one, nice job. Set it down, shake it out. Woo, those are your three moves. Circuit number one, okay? Here we go, hand release push up. That's where we take it, back to the top. One more time through, hand release push up. Deadlifts and squats, and then the nice standing chest fly. Hand release push ups in three, two, let's go, let's go. Lower belly to the ground, release, push up away from the floor. All the way down, release. Push up, remember that two by four. Connected from my head to my toes or my tailbone, right? Keep it a nice flat back, nice straight line. Pushing up as one solid piece of beautiful strength. That's what you are, one 
solid body of strength right here. Push-ups are never gonna get easier. You're just gonna get better at them. There's always a way to make your push-ups harder, right? You can always take this up to an incline and just give me standard push-ups. Come on, you got this. Come on, final three, two, and one. You're out, nice work. Two deadlifts, two squats. Try and go heavy on those dumbbells if you have that capacity. Hinging at the hips for the deadlifts, lowering the hips for the squats, hitting all that lower body right here. All right, here we go. Two hip hinges, two squats. You're there in three, two. Let's go, let's go. Deadlift, nice. These are all timed intervals, you guys. You get to move at your pace, your tempo. Not counting reps, you go your speed. Grab dumbbells that challenge you, try and go heavy. Heavy and slow, focusing on strength, right? Split training, specific muscle groups to build strength at home using dumbbells. That's what we're doing today. Woo, hips back, dumbbells tight to the body. How you keep those dumbbells tight to the body? Pretend as if you are crushing something in your armpits, right? Turn on your lats, also engaged right here. Woo, finish it out right here, nice. You're gonna give me two more deadlifts for the big finish for three, two, and one. Nice work, transitioning to some lighter dumbbells if you need to. You have those alternating standing chest flies, double front raise, Woo. hitting those pecs right there, right? Sculpting a strong chest. You got it, you got it, grab those dumbbells. Palms are out, shoulders down, you're on in three, two. Here we go, right arm, left shoulder. Whew. Left arm, right shoulder. Double palms up to the front, there it is, nice work. Core is turned on, nice and tight, right? Woo, do you feel it? Come on, come on, that core stabilizes you. Last move of circuit number one right here. Close out these exercises, move on to some new ones. Whew. Nice work. Legs and chest, we love strength training because we build strength and we burn fat all day, all day. You're not just burning during the workout, you're gonna continue to burn after the workout, right? You got this, final five, four, three, two, and one. Woo, those 15s were nice and heavy for that chest. Circuit one down, grab a quick sip of water, moving on, circuit number two. Same thing, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Two moves this time, two times through. We're doing a lunge, lunge thruster. You can keep the dumbbells at your side or front rack them, that's what I'm gonna do. I lunge right, Woo. I lunge left, nice. I squat and push those dumbbells, drive straight up overhead. If it's more comfortable, take the dumbbells to your side. Lunge, lunge thruster, 40 seconds, I'm front racking them. You're on in three, two, let's go, let's go, lunge right. Woo, lunge left, nice. Squat and push, there it is. Reload, right, left, nice. We're going big combo moves on the legs here today. Big combo moves on those legs. Legs, glutes, hammies, quads, calves. We're gonna hit it all with these big powerful moves. It's also gonna raise your heart rate, right? Anytime you push those dumbbells up overhead, it's gonna raise that heart rate, front rack. You got that rear head of the dumbbell on your shoulders, right? Squat, push, 10 seconds, come on, you got this. Woo, one rep at a time, one rep at a time, you're in it. Last three, two, and one. Woo, move one, taking it down to your back, lying chest fly, move number two, focusing on the chest, soft bend in the elbows, backs connected to the mat, making an arc with the arms, open and close. Nice little stretch for the chest muscles. Woo, catch your breath, you're on in three. Two, here we go, nice. Right here, I like to think about a blueberry resting on my belly button, and I am trying to crush that blueberry with my belly button. That helps keep my rib cage pulled in, keep my back connected to the mat. Nice arc, soft bend in the arms. Inhale, lower with control, exhale, squeeze and pull the dumbbells back together. You could always take this up to a bench, a stability ball, give yourself a nice, range of motion that would increase it, right? Looking for that nice stretch at the bottom. It's where those muscle tears happen, those muscle gains, right? Ooh, come on, you got this. Finish three, two, and one. Nice work, you guys. Make sure you go heavy on those. You only gotta do it twice, and you want the last two to three reps to really challenge you. That means you're using the appropriate weight, okay? Back to lunge thrusters, lunge, lunge, squat, press. Only two moves in this circuit. We're gonna fly through it. Front rack them, you're on in three, two, here we go. Lunge right, lunge left, give me the double squat. Squat, 
big push right there. Nice work. Lunge, lunge. Find your squat. Squat and push. Now what's driving those dumbbells overhead is my legs. They're the power generators right here. Push it. Nice work. You got it. Come on. Halfway, halfway. Down. Big push. Use those legs. Use those glutes. Use those hips. Drive them forward. Come on. 10 seconds here. Feel that heart rate rising. I do, I do. Finish with me. You got five, four, three, two, and one. You're out. Nice work. Woo, quick shake out. Going down to the ground. Chest fly. Last time you're going to do it. Chest fly. Grab those weights that challenge you, right? Last two to three reps. Make them challenging. Find your backside. Dumbbell straight overhead. Squish that blueberry. Connect that low back to the mat. You're on in three, two. Here we go. Open and close. Nice. Inhale down. Exhale, pull them back together. You control the motion the entire time. Okay? Slow and controlled on the way down. Power them back together. Keep that chest out. Woo! 15 pounds. I'm starting to feel them. I'm starting to feel them work right here. It's getting hard. It's getting hard. It should be because you're in the final. Final 10 seconds. That's where it should start to feel tough for you. You got this. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Come on, stay with it. Building strength right here. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, you guys. Woo! Circuit two. Done and done. Shake it out. Grab some water. Flap out those wings. Do you feel that right there? Woo! I feel that. Okay. Moving on. Circuit three. Halfway point. Two circuits down. Two to go. Circuit number three has three moves in it. Ooh, we're going back down to the ground, gripping one heavy dumbbell if you can. Okay? I'm gonna take this dumbbell in my left hand. I'm gonna lay on my back. Okay, this time it's a standard chest press, but it's single arm. I'm gonna send my right glute up in the air, holding a single leg glute bridge and giving me a dumbbell chest press. That's gonna create so much core. We're working the legs and the chest at the same time. If that single leg glute bridge isn't an option for you, go ahead and give me a double and hold it here. Hold the double. All right, you ready? 40 seconds of work. This 20 pound is gonna feel mighty heavy, but that's what we're here for. You're on in three, two, let's go, let's go. So my hips stay high the entire time, holding this single leg glute bridge as I isolate one side of my chest. That allows me to go heavier. This is a unilateral exercise, right? Targeting one side of the body, one glute, and one chest muscle. Try and go heavy here if you can. I like mixing the double arm exercises with the single arm. So you can feel what it feels like to try and go heavier. Go heavier on the single-sided exercises if you have that capacity. Again, chest is puffed out. Keep those hips nice and square. Don't let one get higher than the other. Do you feel it? Holy bananas, it's working right here. Last three, two, and one. Talk about a powerful combo, combo exercise, glutes and chest. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. Same thing on the other side, right? You're gonna get to do both sides twice. We are gonna burn it out. This time, left leg is in the air. Single leg glute bridge, holding the dumbbell in my right hand, pressing it out in three. Let's go get those hips up. Two, let's go right here. Push, nice. Keeping those hips square, nice work. One chest press at a time. Holding those hips at the highest point, using those glutes and core to stabilize you. Strong glutes, strong hamstrings right here. You got it. Love this move. So challenging. Everything is working, right? Everything is turned on right here. Building true strength. I always say some of the best moves are the ones when your core doesn't move. You got to challenge that core to stay nice and stable. 10 seconds here. Yes, you can. Stay with me. That dumbbell starts to feel heavy. That's normal. You're in the final five, four, three, two, and one. Lower it down. We're going to stay right here. You're going to take that one heavy dumbbell. Option to grab two dumbbells if you have a lighter one. Double leg glute bridge, chest press down, up. So it's a narrow chest press, right? Elbows are gonna fall right by my hips. Hips lift as the dumbbell goes up, lowers together, lifts together. In three, two, let's go. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Driving through the glutes and the chest. This narrow press hits a little bit more shoulder tricep, okay? It's also hitting the chest. Just working a couple more of those push muscles. Hover and push. Never let the back of the arms or the hips hit the ground. Keep constant tension on the glutes and the chest right here. Woo! 
Time under tension, work for it. You got it. Lift and lower. Come on, right here, 10 seconds. Yes, you can, let's go. You can always grab two dumbbells. Nice work, you're in it. Final four, three, two, last one. Nice work, you guys, awesome job. Set that dumbbell down. Now, if I had two dumbbells there, I'd want my palms to face in, right? Down, up. That feels hard even without dumbbells. That's when you know you're fatiguing, okay? One, glute bridge, one, chest press. Let's go, set it up, finish it off. Repeat it, three, two, let's go, let's go. Push, pushing the chest with my right hand. Left leg is lifted right here. Holding that isometric single leg glute bridge, if you can. Option, hold the double leg glute bridge. Hitting the chest right here. One more time. It should feel harder the second time through, right? It means your muscles are fatiguing, they're working. Come on, you got this. I know it feels hard. It's meant to be hard, right? It's meant to challenge you. Challenge you and change you. We are building strength right here. 10 seconds, you got this. Stay in it. Come on, yes you can, yes you can. Woo! You got it, five, four, three, two, and one. Take a rest. Nice work, you guys. Same thing, other side. Finish it off. That chest should be nice and fiery right now. Come on, come on, you got this. Stay in it. Same thing, other side, right? Holding the glute bridge on the left side, pressing on the right side. You're there. Five seconds, set it up, lift those hips. Come on, three, two, let's go, let's go. 40 seconds of work right here, finish it off. Take the reps at your pace, slow and steady. You decide, this is building strength. You get to move at your pace, your tempo. I, you know, I've gone through a lot of seasons of life, pregnancy, postpartum, recovering from an injury. We're always working at a different point in our lives, right? So take this wherever you're at. If you gotta go lighter and slower, do that. If you can go heavy, do that. This is your workout. Make the most of these 35 minutes together. Come on, you got this. 10 seconds, that dumbbell should feel heavy. Yes, you can, yes, you can. Keep those hips lifted nice and high. Don't forget about those glutes for three, two, one more. Awesome job, all right, you ready to finish it off? Two lighter dumbbells facing in. One heavy dumbbell held horizontally. I'm going one heavy. Glutes and narrow chest press. We're gonna put it together, put it together, burn it out. Hips lift as the dumbbell lifts. They lower together, they lift together. Keep constant tension. You're there in three, two, let's go. Lift, hover, lift, hover. Keep those knees nice and narrow. Pretend I'm putting a red Pilates sponge ball. Remember those, you've seen those before in bar workouts. I'm putting that between your legs. Pretend like you're squeezing that ball. Heck, you could even put a tennis ball between your knees if you want to. Squeeze it. Nice, keep those knees nice and narrow. Drive hips and glutes and chest. Burn it out right here. Hips, glutes, chest. Come on, it's all working together. It's all working together. Hitting two large muscle groups at the same time. Burn calories and build muscle. Yes, you can. Finish here, you're in the final five, four, three, two, and one, nice work. Circuit three is in the books. Go ahead, grab some water, set those dumbbells off to the side. You guys ready to finish it out? Grab water, grab water. We're moving into circuit number four, your final circuit. All right, you guys, circuit number four, we are gonna close things out. You have two exercises. You're gonna hold dumbbells right here at your side. We're gonna go curtsy lunge and squat. You're gonna stay standing on the right leg the whole time the first set, we'll do the left leg the second time through. And then for chest, we're gonna go back down to the ground, we're gonna find that narrow chest press and a fly. We're gonna put two of those moves together to finish it off. Are you ready to finish strong? Circuit number four, I'm gonna go heavy again, we're gonna go 20 pounds because we got those legs, they are big strong muscles and we're gonna use them. Standing on my right leg, my left leg's gonna go back to curtsy, come up, find a squat, curtsy squat. Standing on my right leg, left leg moves, curtsy lunge. 40 seconds of work, you're there in three, two, here we go, here we go, give me the curtsy and the squat. Again, slow and controlled right here. One curtsy, one squat. On that curtsy, I'm thinking, knee to shin or knee to calf, okay, that's where I like to go, knee to calf. Drop that back knee straight to the ground, knee to calf. Stepping back, finding that curtsy lunge, hitting those outer glutes of that standing leg, right? Nice outer glutes, your gluteus medius. Nice deep glute muscle, woo, gonna get it right here and a squat. Big combo moves on the legs today. I love a good combo move. 10 seconds here. Come on, burn out that standing leg. That's the goal, that's the goal. You got it. Here for five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna go back to my 15 pounders for the chest. 
We're going to take it down to the ground, lying on the backside, putting two moves you've already done together, okay? Narrow chest press and chest fly. So down up, take it wide. Narrow chest press, chest fly. Palms face in towards each other in three, two. Let's go. Push straight up. Open, close. Lower down with control. Straight up, open, close. Narrow chest press, hitting the chest, also getting a little shoulder tricep in there, right? Chest fly, focusing on those pecs. Nice, big, expansive movement right here, finding some length in the muscle. Keep a nice, not long, lean neck. Don't forget about that blueberry sitting on your belly button. Keep that rib cage pulled in, nice and tight. You got it, you got it. Come on, finish circuit four right here, 10 seconds. Feel that chest. Woo, I feel that chest, I do, I do. You got it, you got it, stay with me. Three, two, and one. Pull it back together, nice work, you guys, back up. We're gonna do curtsy, squat, other leg. So this time I'm standing on my left leg, my right leg is gonna wrap to curtsy, come back to squat. Finish it off, last time you're gonna do it, right here, circuit number four. I might even have a fun bonus move for you guys. What? I know, brought a fun bonus move today, standing. Let's go three, two, here we go. One curtsy, one squat, nice work. One curtsy, hop, one squat, there it is, nice. One curtsy, one squat, nice. Keep that chest up, eyes up. Curtsy, squat, nice. Focus on that standing leg. One curtsy, one squat. You got it, you got it. One curtsy, one squat. Stay in it, stay in it. Come on, knee to shin or calf. Find that squat. Shoulders stay stacked over hips the entire time. Try and go heavy here. You're only doing it once each time, right? Once each side. Woo. You're in three, two, and one. Nice. We're recovering and resting. Awesome job, you guys. Recover and rest. Grab those dumbbells. Back down to the back side. One, chest press. One, chest fly. Finish out circuit four. And then we have a nice little bonus, circuit five. It's gonna be lots of fun. Three, two, here we go. One narrow press, one fly. Finish it off right here. Down, up, open, close. There it is. Down, up, open, close. Nice work. Down, up. You got it, you got it. Come on, yes you can. Finish strong right here. Open and close. Down, up. Open and close. Finish off that chest. That chest should be shaking, right? That chest should be so on fire. So on fire. You got it. Finish strong. You were made for this. Made to build strong muscles. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Stand it up. Grab some water. That is four circuits down. We're going into bonus round. Yes. I always say the bonus round you didn't see coming, but you are going to love it. I promise. I'm gonna go back to my heavy weights again, 20 pounds, okay? I'm gonna take the two dumbbells, plant them on the ground, about shoulder width distance apart. I'm gonna do two push-ups, I'm gonna jump or step back, two push-ups on my knees or toes, one, two, and then I'm gonna hop my feet nice and wide, finding a nice wide squat stance or sumo squat, pick the dumbbells up, down, up, down, up, two squats, take it right back down, hop back, two push-ups, two sumo squats. You are doing this for one, Minute of work. Say yes, I can. Come on, yes, you can. One minute, two push ups, two sumo squats. Come on, we're in it together, team. We're in it together. Then we're gonna burn out the legs one final time. One minute of work right here. Yep, you got it. Find those weights, hopping back to push up in three, two, let's go. Hop or jump back. Two push ups, push up, push up. Nice, step nice and wide outside those weights. Right here. Down up, you got one more. Down up. Nice, take it down, set them down, set the weights down, step or jump it. Right here, two push-ups, knees or toes, you decide. Come on, two push-ups, you got it. And two squats, I think I might have skipped a squat there even. I gave you like a one and a half squat. I'm sorry about that, right here. One, woo, two, nice, now we set them down, right? Get those two full squats in. Come on, nice and wide, little wider squat stance. Gonna hit a little bit more of those inner thighs today. Nice, finish it off right here. Two full squats, set it down. Step back, push-ups, ooh, it's getting hard. Push-ups, after all that chest work, let me tell you, that's mighty tough. Come on, right here, Woo. One more squat, set them down, 10 seconds. You got it, team, let's go. I'm gonna finish this on my toes, I can do it. So can you, 
So strong. Finish off your squats right here. This is it. Two squats. Down. Up. Set the weights down. Whew. Shake it off. All right. Burn off the legs. We're going to stay nice and wide. One heavy dumbbell or two lighter dumbbells. Toes face me. Hold that wide stance. Side. Center. Side. Center. You're doing it for one minute. All right. Three. Two. Let's go. Right here. Side. Center. Side. One minute. Think hips go down and back. Drive off. Down and back. Drive off. Down and back. Drive off. Chest is up. Nice. Glutes. Inner thighs. That's where we finish this workout. Right here. One minute of work. You're bringing it down to the cool down after this. Cool down, cool down. Who's excited about it? I know I am. Love a good bonus round, right? Always fun to burn it out. Love some bonus moves. Love some bonus moves. Come on. One minute of work is a long time, right? You feel it? You're so strong. Finish off, you guys. Yes, you can. Come on. Woo. One rep at a time. Stay in it. You got 15 seconds. Yes, you can. Woo. Drive off that bent knee. Drive off that bent knee. Let's go. Come on, 10 seconds. Bring it home, bring it home. Woo. Right here. Five, four, three, two, one more, because you can. Nice work. Weights are going off to the side. Grab a quick sip of water if you need it. We are cooling down. Nice work. So proud of you guys. So proud of you guys. That is a tough strength workout, especially if you've got some heavy weights today. Okay, where are we started? Let's go ahead, slap those wings. Take you through a nice mobility cool down. Give you a good solid five minutes right here. Don't skip the cool down, you guys. Don't skip it. Got to keep moving. Nice. Back to those twists. Core twist. Twist. Nice. Twist. Twist. Stretch out that low back for four, three, two, one. Nice work. We're going to go heels in, toes out. Drop down to the bottom of a yogi squat. And this time, just pry side to side. You don't have to tap the knees to the ground. Just opening up those inner thighs that we hit at the end, right? Nice work, you guys. Awesome job. Hope you love that. Chest and leg combo, always fun to pair two really large muscle groups in your body together. It's gonna raise your heart rate, right? All right, you're gonna step back. Find a tabletop position, okay? Go ahead, windmill one arm open, open up the chest, set it down. Other side, windmill it open. Nice, we're gonna get into some of my favorite chest stretches right here. Step back, find a high plank. Lower all the way down to your belly. All the way down to the belly, right here. Can you grab the hands behind the back? Interlace the fingers like you did for that standing chest expansion. Now you're lying on the ground. Pull your neck and shoulders off the mat. Open up the chest right here. Feel that low back engage. Keep the neck relaxed. Hold here for three, two, one. Nice work. Now bring the arms to a T right here, out at my sides. Bring one leg to the opposite hand. Trying to keep the other hip on the ground. A lot going on right here, right? But this feels so good. You're opening up the chest and shoulder right here on this side of the body and stretching through the hips and the quads on the other side of the body. This is what we call scorpion stretch. One of my favorite stretches, especially after chest and leg day. Hold here for three, two, one. Let's go ahead and take it to the other side. So find that center. This time, other leg goes back towards. So I'm trying to get my foot to my hand. Not possible for a lot of people. That's okay. Your range of motion that's what you're working with. You can always come back to these stretches. I highly suggest coming back to them 24 hours after you've completed this workout because you're going to be sore, right? A little bit of soreness, a little bit of delayed muscle soreness, okay? Go ahead from here. Find cobra. So just pushing the palms into the ground. Don't need to overextend or look up. Just keeping a nice neutral spine. Roll those shoulders down and back, opening up the front side of the body. Nice. And from here, you're going to push up and back, and we're going to go into child's pose. Big toes to touch, forehead to the mat, reach the fingertips away from the body. Opening the hips here, that's my main focus, opening the hips. Big inhale. Big exhale. Awesome job. From here, bring yourself back to that tabletop position. Tuck the toes under. Nice. Find a forward fold right here. Everything just hangs heavy down towards the ground, just opening up those hamstrings that we hit with those deadlifts squats okay just open it up right here nice bend at the knees roll up one vertebrae at a time when you get to the top it's two big shoulder rolls they go up back and down up back and down we're going to take a nice standing quad stretch so balancing on my right leg left heel is going to come to i'm sorry balancing on my left leg right heel comes to my glute and i'm going to hold here give me a pelvic tilt so tuck your tailbone right towards me from here reach up nice and tall soft bend in that standing leg hold it here for five four nice work three two, 
and one. Go ahead, step that right foot slightly in front of the left foot and hinge forward. Give me a pyramid pose right here, keeping those hips square to me, opening up the hamstrings. Awesome job. Nice, step it back together. Other side, standing on my right leg. Left heel comes towards the glute. Tuck the tailbone towards me. Option, hold here. Option, reach the opposing arm overhead. Hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Set that left foot down slightly in front of the right. Hinge forward, hinging at the hips, pressing those hips back towards that wall behind you, opening up through that front left hamstring. Hips are square. Nice, from here, step the feet back to meet each other. Bend at the knees, roll up one vertebrae at a time. We're gonna hit one final stretch. I really love this one, okay? It's what I call humble warrior. So I'm finding heel to arch alignment as if you were going into warrior two. You're gonna stay up high though. From here, you're gonna take the hands, clasp them behind the back, give me a nice chest expansion. Bend into that front knee, option, stay here. Option, drop the shoulder down towards the knee. Humble warrior right here, hitting the hips. Oh, it stretches so good through those hips and inner thighs and hello chest. I love it, hold for three, two, one. Hands come to the ground, walking the toes, facing center, take a nice wide leg forward fold. Walk it over, other way. Front toe is gonna face forward, back foot stays parallel. Heel to arch alignment, come back up. Clasp those hands behind the chest, big inhale, chest expansion. Bend into that front knee. Option, stay here. Option, drop the shoulder towards the front knee, opening up through the hips and the chest, right here. Hips and chest, you got it. Hold it here for four, three, two, one, hands go to the ground, walk back, toes to me, nice wide leg forward fold, let it all hang heavy, roll up one vertebra at a time, two big shoulder rolls at the top, walk those feet in, awesome job, thank you so much for joining me for this split strong 35 legs and chest workout, I hope you feel strong after this and I hope you feel motivated to check out more of our split muscle group training workouts, you can find them linked below on this page, have a great day and I look forward to sweating with you again soon.